You know what pisses me off? There seems to be more and more spineless fucking gamers out there that act like battered housewives whenever developers and publishers enforce fuck you consumer tactics and alienate the fan base by bastardizing the games they use to love. I hear gamers say, microtransactions suck, fuck them. But hey, at least this game did it well. Is that where we're at? Are we so used to being spoon fed shit that we just hope it tastes better now? We just, we, we applaud those moments. And to make it even worse, there's gamers out there that actually support this new wave of insolence, this ban hammer on used games with heart pulling retorts like, oh, the developers, oh, but it's a license. I am aware I am buying permission to play the game just as I'm buying permission to watch the movie when I buy a fucking DVD. I should have the right to resell the game as I have the right to resell the fucking DVD. I am aware I don't own the assets of the game. I'm not even... That isn't even a statement that is coming out of my mouth. But that's the same thing with DVDs. You're not buying Disney's assets when you buy a future Star Wars movie. No but you still have the right to take it to a pawn shop, drop it down and get some money and they will resell it. In addition, my ability to play the game should not be contingent on their ability to maintain servers. And I'm not talking about a temporary down. I'm talking about whenever the game is considered dead, when it's no longer supported. Five years from now, the games you play now, if it was on a new game only paradigm, will no longer be supported because the servers to verify that will no longer be up. You will not be able to get this because it would be useless and it would be dead weight. You want that? You want that? You're a fan of that? I don't think you are. Oh, and the developers. <laughs> I love this argument. It's like because it only magically pertains to video games. Every other retail market doesn't have this problem. It doesn't. And people justify because of the cost of games. I'll get to that in a minute. It's as if buying any other name fucking secondhand item doesn't rob the company of their money. When you buy a used movie product or fuck whatever item in the retail market, are you robbing the makers, the developers, the publishers of the extra money they could have received? No, you are not. That's not how retail works. I'm aware that there's certain middlemen like GameStop that might be actually causing more harm than good. They're focused on reselling used games over and over again so that they don't have to buy new games from the publisher is why this argument is even here in the first place. But we should not lose the ability to even borrow a friend's game, to trade in an old game, to buy and play a used game because of some middleman publisher fucking politics and exploitive behaviors of the middlemen. Okay? Alright? Don't tell me because I buy a used game that I don't support the developers. That is horseshit. Where's the argument for used movies, huh? How come it's only the video game industry that seems so pissy about the reselling of their products? Is it because of internal issues, the high cost of production, the exploitive business practice of middlemen, and the fucking reissuing carbon copies of the same shit you bought before? You think gamers don't notice when they fork over hard-earned money or something that won't even last as long as a lap dance? Do you think gamers deserve to pay for the exploitive business practices of middlemen? And do you think that we should have to pay the toll for the soaring price of production values? I understand that that would influence price and that is what it should, but it shouldn't cause like this whole paradigm shift of fuck use games. The proper way to do it is to allow the market to detect what is a fair investment, what is a fair and sound investment, and what is an excessive money pit. Because I guarantee you that some of these companies that are struggling are probably spending money they probably don't need to be spinning. Square Enix is an example. 
Hell, most gamers can't even afford to buy a new game without trading in their used games. So if that's no longer an option, what are they supposed to do? Work a little bit more overtime to cough to, to be able to afford the game? Fuck you! That pompous sense of entitlement. Never in an industry, in a retail industry, have I seen such pompous attitude. If you were to say that. Oh! But the absurdity doesn't stop there. It gets better. It gets better. You see, reading some comments about this argument, I have found that some gamers actually have gone as far to say, is, is buying secondhand games any different than piracy? Since the developers make no money? Fuck you and your stupid ass inability to logic. You are overly simplifying the concept to the point to where you can't tell the fucking difference. It's like you've been fucking brainwashed. Like, I don't know, EA or Activision took your brain, fucked it, and put it back in your fucking skull. You. If that's the case, arrest yourself every time you buy a used movie. If that's the case, arrest yourself every time you buy a used car and transfer the license. If that's the case, beat your balls to a bloody pulp every time you take that extra accidental soda that gets dispensed from the vending machine because you just pirated to your fucking logic. Tell me, what is it you stand for? on this issue. Are you cool with being able to borrow games from friends and enjoy them? Or being able to trade in games to buy new games? Or being able to play a used game because you didn't really want the game but it, come down, it came down to a good price and a good sell? You won't even be able to buy a game at a thrift store if this goes on. But tell me, you are you cool with that? Or are you against it? Are you for the inability of being able to borrow a game from a friend, being able to trade in games to afford new games, being able to, uh, I don't know, play used games? <laughs> I don't think anyone would say, I'm honestly for it, please, I'm gonna bend over and they can fuck me. Unless inside you have just lost the will to, like, I guess, fight for this. I mean, it, it seems so stupid that this is an argument because it's not even about used games. It's about the publishers seeing a loss of revenue because uh, GameStop and other middlemen aren't buying games from them. I mean, that's how retail works. When you buy a game from GameStop and you buy a new game, the developers already got their money. They got it when GameStop bought the game from the publisher. Okay? So, if you buy a new game from GameStop, they in turn should be buying an extra copy. But really what goes on is they just resell the game because they know people are going to turn it in. Because that's... These games, most of them only last about maybe five hours. For fucking 60 bucks! Seriously! What? Oh man, oh, okay, um, I'm gonna end it here, see you later, whatever.